Hello, welcome, welcome, welcome. How is everybody doing today? It's another, these Fridays are always gorgeous, aren't they? Maybe it's just because it's Friday, but oh my goodness. Fruity G Friday, Facebook Friday, Facebook Live. Oh, we've got some fun new stuff. Sandra sent me a message. Um, just, well, I'm not even, didn't even look at the exact time, but there's some confusion about the new celebration stuff and how that's all working starting today. So I'm gonna clarify all of that for you guys. Um, in the meantime, I'm just gonna kind of wait a minute or two. Oh my goodness, here is Lily. Oh, okay, so half day of school today. You know, I mean, hi Sandra. Oh, oh, thank you, thank you. Yeah, I curled it. I don't do that very often, but every once in a while. Um, hi Wendy, how are you? I'm so glad you guys can join me. Yay, everybody's hopping on. So yeah, just make sure you say hello. I love to see who's on and what's going on. Hi Philomena. Great, great, great Friday. Yes, okay, so yeah, I'm already distracted because out my window I see my niece, Emma, who drives to school. She takes Lily to school for me most days. Um, they have a half day, so Lily's walking in the door and I was like, Lily, can you come say hi to everybody? So I think she said she was gonna do that. So hi, Marianne, how are you guys? Um, yeah, this I no one is ever in the house when I do these Facebook Lives, and so I've already, I've been like, Lily, you have to come in and like go right upstairs because I can't have you like hanging around with me. Hi, Lil. Fell. Oh no, <laughs> on the ice. Oh, she's she just fell. She's holding her her backside. Uh oh, ouch. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit icy out there. I thought of that. Um, we need to get some more salt out there. We we did the best we could shuffling, and there's still like a whole layer of snow that has turned into ice, of course. So, ouch. You all right? All right, well, in a sec, come say hi to everybody because I can't, I can't have her and like do this at the same time. That is like way too much for my brain. So thanks for the share, Marianne. Um, let's see what's going on. Yeah, we um, last weekend Lily had her dance competition, which it was just a one day deal. So that was that was actually really nice to kind of get in and do all of her dancing, and we were able to get home and sleep in our own beds on Saturday night. So, and we had the um, weekend. Well. What, do I, what are we calling it? Like it was a leadership convention that I went to down in Lansing. So I was only able to go on Friday night. Are you gonna come say hi? Come here and say hi. <laughs> come here, Lily. I feel like I'm calling a dog. Come here. People want to see you and say hi, right? This is Lily. <laughs> and yes, she's a little bit taller than I am. Sorry, we're making the, um, the table bounce a lot. So Lily, are you gonna say hi? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everyone is sharing right now. So thanks for the shares, ladies. I appreciate that. So yeah, Lily's going to get a snack, I think, and then she's going to head upstairs to her room so I don't have to worry about her distracting. Um, but yeah, I have so much good stuff to show you guys today. So the last, the weekend, the leadership convention that I went to, we did some stamping too, which I know everybody always loves that. So I'm going to share those cards that were made. I actually had another gal. There's Marianne saying, hi, Lily. <laughs> um, uh, let's see, I had another gal take my spot um, on Saturday, so they made my cards for me, which was awesome. Um, so I'm going to show you guys all those um, great projects that we got to do. So, hi. Oh, Janelle, how are you? I'm happy you can join us. I think you're new for me anyway on the live. So, yay, I love having new people on. And that's kind of a good cue for me to, yeah, anybody, anytime, make sure you always say hello, whether you're watching now on the live or you watch later here on the Facebook group, on the Facebook business page or on YouTube. I love to see and hear from everybody. So thank you guys. Um, let's see, what else? Why don't, you wanna just jump right in? I think we should, cause I cannot wait to show you guys all of, say, thanks everybody for saying hi to Lily too. You know, she's, she's not real chatty. She really doesn't like to be on camera much. I don't know if I really, I don't much either, but you know. Um, okay, so this is the ribbon that we're giving away. This was the, and of course we've got the sun because it's 11.30 on Friday, the Balmy Blue Celebration, the Organdy Ribbon Combo Pack. Well, the Organdy Ribbon, it's not a combo pack. We're, we're giving away just that bolt of the Balmy Blue Ribbon. You guys know the drill. Hi, Karen, how are you? One entry in the drawing for commenting anytime between now and next Thursday night. Every single comment counts. I love going through all the comments. It's so, it's funny how fun it is for me. I, that's kind of embarrassing for me to even say, right? But I love all of your comments, all of your shares too. You get three entries if you share um, the Facebook Live video at any time. Um, let's see, and that's comments and shares here on the Facebook group and the business page, and also on YouTube. If you comment and share on YouTube, you get 
um, the entries in the drawing too. Plus I drew the one random day was Friday. So any comments and shares on any post last Friday got you three more entries. There are so many names in here. So I'm trying to, you guys hear me shuffling them all around. So you know the drill on that, right? Or if you're new, hopefully that all makes sense. If you ever have any questions about how you can get your name entered in here, just let me know. Send me a message. Hi, Sharon. Yay, everybody's here. I love this. Okay, so Oh my goodness, Miss Mary Ann, you are the lucky. February is your month. There we go. We can maybe kind of see that. So, all right, Mary Ann, I'm going to be sending you out the balmy blue, the celebration ribbon. And I have it in my notes to tell you guys, but I think I'll just say it right now while I'm thinking about it. This, the, the combo pack of ribbon, let me scoot this out of the way, um, that has not been available. I just checked, unless there's an update today, I didn't get a chance to peek on before we did the live, but you guys know this combo pack of ribbon. So you're gonna, Marianne's gonna get the balmy blue, but then they've got all those other really pretty colors. They are, um, yeah, balmy blue, daffodil delight, grapefruit grove, highland heather, and lemon lime twist. So five bolts of ribbon free with a $50 order. Those have not been orderable um, for a little bit. You're welcome, Marianne. Um, but according to the Stampin' Up! website, they're on back order and supposed to be available for order on Monday the 18th. So what I want to let everybody know, either hop on the website, like I said, there hasn't been an update to say for sure, and I know they keep talking about all the like port congestion, um, you know, the things coming in from China, basically, um, getting stuck in customs and on ports and whatever. Um, so hopefully that's a good date. If it's not, it's, I would say it's gonna be in the next little bit. But if you really wanted that ribbon and you didn't get it, make yourself a note, Monday, hop online, Try to put an online order in, use that host code I'm gonna give you in just a little bit so that you can order this ribbon. Or if that is not convenient for you, if you email me your order, I will order this for you. Cause I don't want anybody to miss out cause I know people were kind of bummed that that went so quickly. So, cause what's happening as I understand it is they're filling all the back orders and then whatever is left then becomes available and I'm sure it's gonna go quickly. So let's see, what am I missing? Um, <clears throat> oh, the gingham is supposed to be, I think it is too, you're right, Marianne. Or sorry, Sandra, I'm seeing Marianne's name on there too. Um, yeah, I forgot to check on that one, but yeah, I think it is coming, everything's kind of coming available in the next little bit. So yeah, if you want me to get that for you, just send me, you just need to do a $50 order and then you can get that for free. So if anybody wants me to help them out with that, I'm happy to do that for you. Um, let's see, you guys wanna know what we're gonna give away this week? Well, Darlene, how are you? Down in sunny, beautiful Texas, not in like cold, snowy Michigan. <laughs> yes, greetings from Texas, good for you. It looks like you've been having a great trip. I love seeing what everybody's up to, so um, it's just fun to see those posts on Facebook and Instagram. So this week, we are gonna give away, this is, what are they calling it? It's the black and silver, striped metallic ribbon. So this is part of that garage suite of products. Can you guys kind of see that? I meant to grab another um, project that I have with this ribbon on it and I totally forgot to do that. But this is awesome. So this is part of, I don't have my occasions catalog, but part like toward the back of the, hi Nikki, toward the back of the occasions catalog, you're gonna find this awesome. Can you guys kind of see? It's really cool, very masculine. And yeah, I saw it on, I feel like it was on like a, a baby card almost with the elephant and like pinks and, and black and silver. It was really, really cute. So I think don't get yourself pigeonholed because a lot of times those sweets, you know, are kind of traveling down one avenue and like there are so many other uses for a lot of our products beyond, you know, what they show in the catalog. So this is a good example of that too. Um, I have not really played with it much yet. It's on my list. I have to kind of spread things out, right? So yeah, but this is what we'll give away next week, next Friday's Facebook Live. One entry for commenting anytime, three entries if you share the video. Um, another three entries for that random day that I pick. Um, I comments and shares on whatever that random day is that I'll pick next week. And then also comments and um, shares on the Facebook business page and on YouTube. And three entries if you're new to me and you haven't signed up for my email list, you get three entries in the drawing to win that awesome ribbon. So we'll be doing that next Friday. 
Um, let's see. Oh, I have to um, give kind of a quick shout out and a welcome. We had a couple of new Inkspired Stampers join our group this week. So we want to say welcome to Gwen Larank and Mariana Quick. They both bought the starter kit. You guys know if you want a bunch of Stampin' Up! product, now is the time to get that starter kit. You pick $175 in product and pay only $99 plus sales tax. That 10% shipping fee that we normally pay on orders, that is waived too. Plus, they throw in a paper pumpkin kit um, with your starter kit order. You can order whatever you want. I always like jokingly say, if you wanted to order $175 in snail refills, you could do that. I mean, I think that would be crazy, but that's my point is there's no restriction. You can get whatever you want. You can even get the new celebration stuff that if you're not a demonstrator, you cannot order yet. And I'm going to clarify that um, in just a couple minutes. I have to stay with my notes though, so I make sure to not miss anything, but I'll come back to that. So if anybody's interested in the starter kit and becoming an Inkspired Stamper, please let me know. I love to have as many of you take advantage of that awesome deal as would like to. Plus, um, then you get 20% off of all of your orders that you put in after that. There is no pressure. Um, I had a gal that was like, okay, now I've signed up. Are they going to be like bombarding me and, you know, like bugging me all the time about ordering and that sort of thing? And Stampin' Up! is a very, what do they call it? Like kind of a soft sell, like low pressure sales company. I definitely kind of keep an eye on reports and things and let you know, kind of help you because you guys are not like probably quite as into this as I am, I guess I would say. So I always kind of keep an eye on things and I'll let you know, you know, if you're like, haven't met your quarterly minimum, like, and you want to, you know, who wouldn't want that little message to say, hey, you only need $40 in orders to continue de your demonstrator status. And then you decide whether you want to put that order in or not. So there's never any pressure from me or from Stampin' Up, but I do definitely like to help keep everybody kind of informed and what's going on. So. Yeah, let me know if you have any questions on that starter kit. Um, so let's see, we didn't, oh my gosh, this is like two weeks in a row, you guys, the odds are really good. I really wanted to give away, you guys saw that super cute card. I have yet to make anything, but this was that all that you are stamp set that I was gonna give away with an online order, but there weren't any online orders last week. So I'm gonna have to keep this stamp set and play with it now, right? So I'll show you guys soon. I'll come up with a fun project with that stamp set. So like I said, your odds are really good. If like only one person orders online this week, that person is automatically gonna get the, this is what we're giving away this week, that awesome part of my story celebration stamp set. This is that one that has all of those awesome sentiments I've used a number of them myself, but I love these. So if you don't have this set already, put your minimum, it's just a minimum $30 order in online. Your name goes in the drawing to get the part of my story stamp set. And then you also get the projects that I'm gonna demonstrate in just a few minutes. So I'm gonna give you a quick reminder, the, the um, sentiments on here. Let's get together and giggle, cause that's such a cute one, right? The world needs more people like you. Love that sentiment. Um, here's to those who inspire us and don't even know it. I'm so glad you are a part of my story, knowing that a friend, or know today, excuse me, one more time, know that today a friend is thinking of you with a really cute little heart, and then you are my chosen family. So awesome sentiments. Uh, your name goes in the drawing to win this stamp set if you put an online order in. Um, so get something else for celebration and then maybe you'll win this one free, right? Okay, I need a quick sip of water. I, uh, it's that time of year, right, where it's like, dry, dry throat, dry mouth. Okay, um, <clears throat> what else is going on? Okay, I think we're ready. <laughs> okay, are you guys ready? Oh, yes, it's Karen is saying that she's used the part of my story stamp set a ton, because there are so many great sentiments. You can use them for so many different, um, like occasions and people and friends and family and things. So yeah, it's an awesome, and I think it's because they're different. The sentiments are not like um, the other ones that we have typically had before. So that's kind of a nice something different in the mix there too. Um, okay, so you guys, all right, let me, I am gonna clarify because there's still been confusion because this is the first time we've ever done this during celebration. But this is what's happening. Um, I actually have my brochures because last week I didn't even have them yet. So this is the celebration 
and it doesn't even say it on here, but this is the second release of items. So these items are available to everybody starting today, February 15th through March 31. I'm sure it's kind of a while supplies last, I guess. I don't know anymore. But in here, there are three items essentially that you can get for free. Two of them with a $50 order and one kind of combo pack with a $100 order. So the first is, did I bring those? Let's see. Maybe I'm using it, that's why, because we're gonna use it on the project in a few minutes. But I don't even have to show you in the catalog. So this is the All Adorned Stamp Set. So we've got some really cool kind of imagery in there. We've got this, that little sentiment says, miss you. There's one that says, lots of love. And then this one up here says, you are pretty much the best ever. So this is a stamp set that you can now get. It's a photopolymer. You can see it's clear all the way through, with, even with the glare, right? Um, free with a $50 order starting today through March 31st, okay? The other thing, and you guys are gonna, it's a little hard to tell how awesome this is, but we're gonna make a project with it, and then you guys will understand how cool this is. This is called the Country Floral Dynamic Textured Impressions Embossing Folder. So this is, the embossing folder. It's one of the thick, that's why I had to say the name, it took so long for me to say. Oh, uh, what is, yeah, the corner on, Marianne's talking about the corner on this stamp set, that corner right there. It is very, very cool. I'm sure you guys have seen some fun projects made with that already. Plus, even the other kind of mosaic, I guess, imagery on here too, you can really do some cool pattern stamping with those too. So, awesome stamp set. But okay, back to you guys can't even tell how cool this is until we emboss it. The fun thing for me is that rose right there pops out every single time when I run, because um, there is only one rose as I'm looking at this. There's lots of other kind of leaves and smaller flowers, but this is a gorgeous, gorgeous um, embossing folder. So I'll show you guys that on a project, like I said, in just a little bit. And then, where do I have it? The other, so those are both free with a $50 order, okay? So the All Adorn stamp set and the Country Floral Embossing Folder. Then the only other thing that's available right now today is this bundle of products, the Painted Seasons Bundle. This is free with a $100 order. You get the Painted Seasons stamp set, and we're gonna do some fun stamping with this one today. It is beautiful, and you kind of can't even, hi Lisa, how are you? I'm glad you can join us. You can't even tell how cool this stamp set is, but, so I gleaned so many awesome ideas just on the Friday night that I was at that leadership convention down in Lansing, and Brandi Barnard, who is an awesome demonstrator and used to work for Stampin' Up, so she's kind of got the inside scoop on a lot of things, um, but beautiful, Beautiful woman, beautiful stamper. She gave us this idea and I loved it. So if you can see from the stamp set, good morning, Lisa. We, um, she showed us how she stamped all of the images from the stamp set. So this is it, just like one sheet of cardstock, Whisper White cardstock with all of those images, but doesn't it, so what do you, what do you think is gonna entice you more, right? This stamp set in the case or seeing all of those images stamped on there, aren't they? They are beautiful. These are some of the distinctive stamps. So there's so much kind of depth and texture and detail in the stamping, just stamping alone, right? So aren't those beautiful? Okay, so, and the other part of the bundle is designer series paper, which is different. We've never done that before. So with a $100 order, you get the Painted Season stamp set and let me get this fanned out for you. This is the Painted Seasons Designer Series paper, okay? I'm gonna try to pull this out. You get, it's 12 sheets, like it always is, but this time you get three of each sheet of Designer Series paper. Is that right, three? Because there are four different patterns? Yeah, because there's like a spring, summer, winter, fall is the idea. Let's see, there's one more here. Yeah, three each of four different patterns. Oops, there we go. Okay, so you guys check this out. And honestly, even just seeing it, 
Janelle loves the bundle. Yes, it is gorgeous. Okay, can you guys, I'm gonna like, <laughs> can you see it? So all of this beautiful, let's kind of zoom in. It's kind of a watercolor wash. I don't know if I'm doing a very good job. Maybe I'll show you guys again when I put the camera down too, right? Can you kind of, maybe we can kind of see it better that way, right? So one side is kind of like a watercolor, just, um, you know, tone on tone, one color and white. And then the others are all really pretty florals too. Maybe that actually is that a little bit better. So it is gorgeous paper. And honestly, it's funny because I liked it when I saw it, but now that I've played with it and put it on projects, I love it even more. So you guys are, you're gonna love this paper too. And we're gonna make, so I cased, oh my gosh, there were so many, um, because I didn't even have this stuff yet when we went last Friday. Yeah, I hadn't even gotten my order. Um, I think it was delayed with, um, you know, all the bad weather that we've had. So I, I hadn't even had a chance to play with it. And we got to leadership convention on Friday night and there were all these really awesome ideas. So I was taking pictures of everything. And so I'm like, okay, I'll tell you guys who I cased those things from, but beautiful projects that show off all of, all of the products that are new that you can get free with a 50 and $100 order during celebration. We're using all of them on the projects today. Okay, so hopefully that clarifies what you can get today free with a $50 order, right? So again, it is the All Adorn stamp set, free with a $50 order, the Country Floral Embossing Folder, free with a $50 order, and the Painted Seasons Bundle, free with a $100 order. That is it. So the other items, I'm gonna show you guys those because I do have almost all of those. I'll tell you about that in a sec. Um, the other items are the celebration coordination products that you cannot order until March 1st. Unless you want to get the starter kit, you can get all of these new items. Like I can order them as a demonstrator. And if you want to get the starter kit, you're a demonstrator, you can order them right on your starter kit or put your starter kit order in and then get 20% off of that order, however you want to do it. But basically customers, if you're a customer, you cannot order these celebration coordination products yet, not until March 1st. So Sandra, that was your confusion. I know you sent me a message about that because you thought you could get online and order those right now. It's only the new celebration, like kind of those second release items that I just showed you. So what you can order starting March 1st is, hold on one sec, I gotta move this stuff out of the way. So I don't get myself confused either. Okay. Mm. All right, I've got my little flyer here. So the celebration coordination products, and, and it's backwards, but if you can see, it says right in tiny print right there, March 1 to March 31. That's the only time customers can order these. So you've got one month to get your orders in to get. There is this More Than Words stamp set, okay? This is an awesome sentiment stamp set. That is $17. It is uh, 17 photopolymer stamps, and they are calling it a two-step stamp set. Hi, Rosa. How are you? I'm glad you can join us. Hello, hello. Okay, so this you can order on March 1st, $17. Then there are a whole bunch of framelits that coordinate with the already released celebration stamp sets. So for example, the Lasting Lily stamp set that we've been featuring on our Facebook group all week long that is the product of the week. On March 1st, you can order the Lily framelits. So can you guys see? So those all coordinate, and actually there's this uh, two labels, right? Yeah, two different size labels right there. Also, hi Tammy, hey, how are you? I'm glad you can join us as well. So can you see, so these are gonna cut out the lilies and the stems and the leaves, and then they've got a cool, um, couple of cool labels there also. Okay, so this you can order March 1st, starting March 1st. These framelits, actually pretty much all of them, this, these are $27 for the lily framelits, starting March 1st, okay? Then, um, okay, this is like the flake out moment where I thought I ordered the Call Me, yeah, they're called the Call Me Cupcake Thinlets. Those are $27 and they coordinate and cut out the images from the Hello Cupcake stamp set. 
Oh, well, I thought, I'm like, gosh, did I like misplace those already? And then I looked back at my order and I guess I never ordered them. So I can't show you guys those right now, but I can show you kind of on the flyer. There are these images right there. So what I love is that huge dome and then the cake stand. And then you've got the other things that all coordinate with the actual images in the stamp set there. Okay, so those thinlets are $27. Again, you can order those starting March 1st. Then we have the hop around framelits. These coordinate with that so hoppy together, the froggy stamp set, right? So especially love that little guy on the bike, right? Um, I'm gonna show you guys a fun card that I got as a swap using that little guy there too on the bike. So those, the hop around framelits are $27 starting March 1st, again, okay? Then, so you guys remember, I don't, I don't wanna confuse you, but the Painted Season stamp set and designer series paper that you can get for free right now with a $100 order. There are the four seasons framelits that you can order starting on March 1st. These are $28. So these framelits all coordinate and cut out the images. Remember I showed you? So when you stamp all of those images, then you can cut them out with your new Four Seasons framelits starting March 1st, unless you're a demonstrator or you buy the starter kit. I hope this is making sense now, right? Um, then the last thing, because there are one, two, three, four, five, six coordination products, right? So the four sets of framelits, the more than word stamp set and oops what do i have the wrong right here then we have the story label punch so can you guys see that this punch will be available starting on march 1st and it's 18 dollars. and i was just looking to see is it it's pretty similar so i was kind of looking to see if you could layer things so those are the lily framelits do you see that little label in there it's a little bit different but i think you could have some fun like layering those things together there too right so okay does that make sense guys so sandra those framelits that you wanted to order in the punch get the starter kit and then you can order them right now if not you just have to wait a couple more weeks till march 1st um okay karen is saying oh i had the same moment um, okay, now I have to scroll back, sorry. I'm like probably touching the screen. You got so excited to get your order and then you forgot to order some of them. <laughs> yes, I hear you, I know. And now you're gonna wait till Monday so you can get the celebration ribbon again too. Good idea. I know we're always like strategizing with our orders, right? Sharon is saying she has the framelits and let's see, Sandra, isn't it matching the stamp set how sweet it is? Um, the punch? Well, I don't know, is that what you mean? Does this punch? Maybe it does. I don't, mm, there's no like verbiage on my little sheet. It just shows the punch right there. You know how normally like in, cause I don't have another, maybe there's more info on the website that I missed, Sandra. It's possible, um, but you see, so this is, yeah, maybe it does. I'm trying to remember if there's another, I think if it's not exactly the same, it's pretty close to one of the frame. Yeah, the punch you're saying, does this go with how sweet it is? And I don't have my catalog right here. Um, I'll check that out and let you know. If it doesn't match exactly though, I think it would be a fun like layering option for you too. So hopefully, Sandra, that helps. Hopefully that makes sense. Hopefully everybody else is kind of on board. You're saying, yeah, it does. But I feel like there's a framelit already in that set. There are a lot of them that are kind of looking similar, I think. Um, but they're all really cute too. And I think you could probably layer in lots of different ways with those also. So let me know if anybody has any questions, right? So there are three new celebration items you can get right now for free with your $1,500 order. And then, like I said, there are six new items that are gonna coordinate with products that you've already gotten maybe during celebration that are available March 1st. So not yet, March 1st, okay? I've said that like 14,000 times, right? So hopefully, <laughs> hopefully that all helps you guys out, okay? So lots of awesome new products though. That's the fun part. Um, okay, where did my notes go? I got so excited to show you guys all this stuff now. If you could see the table, right? Um, okay, oh, so this is the one thing I wanted to show you guys. This is a swap that I received from 
Jeannie, and her last name is K-O-O-K-E-R. So maybe Cooker, but I, or Cooker or Coker, I'm not exactly sure. But she, I have gotten swap cards from her before and she always does such a good job. So check this little baby out. We are actually making this at the Simple Beautiful Card Class today, this afternoon, right after Facebook Live. Um, so we did some kind of water coloring with the, we use the aqua painter, and then this is Call Me Clover ink. We kind of colored in that cute little froggy guy. And then, so she made this a while ago, so she actually kind of fussy cut with her paper snips that little wheel and popped it up on a dimensional. And then isn't this fun? Check out, it's like a different, so this is just one quarter of a sheet of cardstock, so four and a quarter by five and a half. And then just kind of layered this little guy so you can just write a little fun, um, message to whoever you would send this card to. It is adorable, isn't it, Philomena? Thought it was so cute. But now, can you guys see how those, that framelit, that little hop around framelit right there is gonna cut your little froggy guy out perfectly? Isn't that so cute? Oh, Karen's asking, the designer series paper, I think it's it's called the Happiness Blooms. It's the really, it's the retro paper. Do you remember how we were talking about like 60s floral retro? I think it's, I think it's Happiness Blooms. Um, that is the designer series paper because on the back is like red, orange, yellow. I think those are the main colors. Um, yeah, that's the other side of that designer series paper. So Happiness Blooms, I'm about positive. But I love the blues and the greens. So Night of Navy and then Call Me Clover. Um, and it's kind of like we're getting, now that we got past uh, Valentine's Day, right next to St. Patrick's Day, kind of St. Patrick's Day colors on there, right? So super cute card. I just had to show you guys that because I was really, that sat on my craft table for a while. I'm like, I know we have to make that card. Plus I love the gingham, the blue and white, the gingham ribbon on there. Super duper cute. So thanks, Jeannie. That was such a cute card. I had to show that. So good. Okay, Karen, you got your questions answered. Awesome. All right, um, oh, the other thing I wanna show you guys, and Miss Karen was my huge helper in making these cards for me last Saturday. I wanna show you guys all of the cards, and it's maybe not quite all of them, but almost all of them, that we made last Saturday at the Leadership Convention. So this first one is um, featuring the By the Bay stamp set from Celebration. So can you guys see that? So it's just a really nice, simple, they use some of the designer series paper or the botanical butterfly. And then the sentiment says, may all your paths lead to happiness. Isn't that, that's very sweet, huh? And then just the imagery from that stamp set stamped and then cut out with the oval framelit. So that was one of them. And then here, this is from the Home to Roost stamp set. I love how they use that um, Buffalo Check background stamp. And then they did use one of the little wooden elements, um, the butterfly wooden elements. So they're not all butterflies. There are a couple of flowers and leaves in there too. And then all the beautiful coloring on the rooster as well, right? On a crumb cake card base. So you can see that just opens up like that. And then, let's see what I wanna show you guys next. So these are more of kind of the butterfly theme, right? So one of the huge, I use one of my huge butterflies on that card right there with the sentiment that says, you are my chosen family. So that's from that part of my story stamp set and more of that botanical butterfly designer series paper. Again, more of the paper. We use some sequins too, the Gingham Gala sequins. And then what does this one say? Know that today a friend is thinking of you. So more of that part of my story stamp set. Oh, Karen, you love that rooster. I know that one has grown on me because that was not one that like kind of wowed me at first, but now I'm seeing more fun projects with that. Um, here's another one. Here's to those who inspire us and don't even know it. So it looks like we used a bunch of the sentiments from that uh, part of my story stamp set more ribbon and then um, that is one of the butterflies that's right out of the designer series paper punched i love that idea because there's so much can you guys see like i don't think i'd ever be able to color it that beautifully but stampin up already did it for us on the paper right and then one more i'm so glad you are a part of my story um, with the purples too isn't that pretty we've got some highland heather and some gorgeous grape ribbon and cardstock and then more of that designer series paper so very cute. And then the last set of cards, I kind of sneak peeked these. I have to show you them again though um, on our Facebook group, but these are all the Lasting Lily, our product of the week. So can you guys see, we've got Our Thoughts Are With You, 
Can you guys see that? Oh my goodness. There, there we go. There we go. The glare kind of gets me. This one says, thank you for your endless love and support with more of the sequins. And then some of that floral romance designer series paper. That has worked really, really, really well with this um, stamp set, the Lasting Lily stamp set. And you can see how now, like Karen had to fussy cut that lily, right? Now, where are my lily framelits we're gonna be able to use? the lily framelits, can you guys see? There we go. You can cut those images right out with our framelits now, starting March 1st, unless you're a demonstrator, or get the starter kit, right? Um, so, but that's awesome, right? A nice sympathy card, and then more of that floral romance designer series paper, that's some of that vellum kind of peeking out there. And then the last one, this is my favorite, with the ribbon with that pink and white variegated ribbon. I think it's on back order, but I think you can put an order in and it'll ship to you when it comes in, when it's not on back order anymore. Yes, it is one of the best sets, isn't it, Philomena? And then those pretty lilies on there. Sorry, guys. Why does the sun have to shine on Fridays at 11.30 to 12.30, right? <laughs> I know that's awful of me to complain about that too, right? Um, okay, I think, because I already told you about the ribbon. Oh, one more thing, because I was looking at our inventory status report and I thought, I know I mentioned this a couple weeks ago, but I don't want anybody to have a problem. So let me just get my colors out here. This has to do with the retiring, the 2017-19 in colors that are going to be retiring. I thought it was easiest to show you guys with the cardstock. So Berry Burst, Lemon Lime Twist, Powder Pink, um, fresh fig and tranquil tide. These are the colors that will be retiring, um, well, technically May 31st. The thing is that the ink pads, almost all of these ink pads and almost all of these ink refill bottles are already on low inventory, which kind of scares me because I'm thinking if you don't have the ink pad or you didn't get the ink refills yet, I would order those as soon as you can um, because once they, you know, in well, it's April that the retiring lists come out. Those are gonna be probably even close to sold out if they're already on the like low inventory list. And then obviously if you need more cardstock in any of these colors or the ribbon. So I'm just trying to kind of get, oh, Tammy, how are you? I'm glad you can join us on the live. You're right, you finally made it to a live. I was just talking about these um, in colors that are retiring. So just check your stock if you need ink pad, ink refills, cardstock, ribbon, embellishments, just order them. Do it now and you can get your free celebration items, right? Why wait until April when the retiring lists come out and you have a chance that maybe you can't get what you want. So I just wanna make sure everybody knows that, that the ink and the refills are already on low inventory. So I think those are gonna go quickly. Um, once for sure, they're gonna sell out like, you know, I can't even, I can't snap my fingers. I'm very good at that, but they're gonna sell out super quickly once that retiring list comes out if they're, if they make it that long, I feel like. So, okay, so just know that. If you need those, get them ordered so you don't have a problem, okay? All these kids are walking by because they're all like walking home from school, I guess. It's kind of funny, but it's a beautiful day other than like maybe a little icy out there. So, okay, um, all right, are you guys ready to stamp? I am so ready to stamp. So let me, I'm gonna get my grid paper out and I'm gonna show you guys these awesome projects that we are gonna make today. All right, I think we're good. So turn your heads away for a quick sec. I'm gonna flip the camera so that we can get our stamping started. Okay. All right, do that. Okay, all the glares that are here. So bear with me one sec, we're gonna move the table. Let's see if we can't lose it. <laughs> My poor floor. <laughs> Hold on, hold on. I'm watching as the, all the shadows go away. There, okay, hopefully that'll last for us for a little while, right? Okay, sorry, that feels a little wiggly there. Okay, mm. Okay. so the first project I wanna show you guys, I cased this one, like I said, Brandy Barnard gave us this awesome idea. Now you guys can see these a little bit better, right? All of the images from the Painted Season stamp set, right? She also brought a couple of cards to share with us and this was one of them and I, I just thought it was so beautiful. I'm like, okay, we are gonna have to make this card. 
right here and now on Facebook Live. So it features the Painted season stamp set and then this is some of the Painted Seasons designer series paper. So that's the bundle. You get the stamp set and the DSP with a $100 order right now starting today. Okay, so let's see. Oh good, I do have it. We masked that little flower and all of a sudden I was like, oh no, did I remember to bring that? And oh, of course we used a sentiment from the part of my story stamp set. We use that, the world needs more people like you on our card as well. And don't forget, you can get this stamp set. You get your name entered into the drawing tool. Sorry about that, guys. That kind of blanked out on there. So thank you, Sandra. I'm glad you guys like this card. I know it is gorgeous, isn't it? So, okay. All right, back to what I was talking about. Um, hold on, I'm gonna tell Lily because her brother just tried to call and I don't want him to keep trying to call because sometimes he gets impatient and does that. So give me one second. I'm going to go tell Lily to call her brother. Okay, I'll be right back. Hey, Lily. Kate just tried to call me. Let him know I'm doing the Facebook Live. All right, thank you. Okay, sorry about that. <laughs> you know, teenage boys, they want what they want when they want it, and I'm just afraid he's going to keep calling. Okay, so we need, let me scoop that guy out of the way. I'm going to get my ink out and all ready to go here and I'll tell you what we are doing with these okay that one that one that one and that one there okay so let's let's do our stamping right that's the kind of neat thing about this card is there's really not much else I have my um stamp and pierce mat here and because I know I'm going to go off the edges a little bit and I really don't like to stamp all over this guy I just put a little scrap piece of paper on there so knowing that I need to fit everything on, I started with my black memento ink. Oh, Sandra, <laughs> makes you wanna get the bundle right now. You can, so you can get the bundle, the stamp set and the designer series paper. You can get that free with a $100 order right now. And I think it's gonna be a pretty hot item. So who knows, I could see that paper going on back order. They'll fill, you know, they'll fill them all, but. Yeah, order it if you can, get it right now, and then, then you've got it to play with because there are gonna be so many wonderful ideas out there. Okay, so we stamped our sentiment, the world needs more people like you with our black ink. Then this I'm using Poppy Parade ink. So I'm gonna do my nice, easy tap, tap, tap. Make sure I've got that inked up well. And we're gonna put that maybe right about there. And I'm gonna just press firmly. I'm not wiggling or rocking because I don't wanna get anything around the edge. So can you see? Look at how beautiful that flower is. All the texture and kind of depth to it, right? Now, this is where we are gonna do our masking. So where's my little, here it is. <laughs> so we use, we're making this card at card class this week too. So we've stamped over this a lot. So I'm gonna lay this down right over top of that. And now, cause I don't wanna get this pear pizzazz ink all over my flower. I love how this works. Okay, so we're doing our nice easy tap, tap, tap again. I'm gonna stamp once there and then once more, kind of stamping off. So one's a little bit darker, one's a little bit lighter. And then I liked to kind of move that just a little bit, okay. So same thing, we're gonna stamp once there and another there, okay? And then, actually I don't wanna move that quite yet, do I? Because then I am going to use, what do I have, Grapefruit Grove ink with this little teeny tiny baby stamp right here with the little leaf. So we've got my Grapefruit Grove ink. And again, kind of tap, 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 make sure that's there. And I'm gonna stamp one there. And this one stamps really light already. I kept thinking my ink pad needed to be refilled, but it's just kind of the nature of the stamp. It's just kind of a really pretty little like watercolor wash. So do you see how kind of handy that is when you do that masking? So basically I cut, well, I stamped one of these and I didn't have my framelits yet, so I just fussy cut this so I can lay it over top to do that masking so it doesn't kind of get the green and the, um, Grapefruit Grove ink all over my beautiful flower, right? But don't forget, starting on March 1st, you can get your Four Seasons framelits. And then here, it's not very pretty, right? But that framelit is gonna cut, maybe it's backwards, I gotta go like that. 
that framelit is going to cut that one out right there. And then all of the other images I showed you guys and they were kind of backwards, right? So you can see all the images and all of the framelits that are going to cut those out. So $28 for these framelits, but not until March 1st, okay? All right, let's see. What else do we need? Okay, I think we can kind of put things together here, okay? So you can see it was a simple card. I mean, it's not a difficult one, but it really features the stamp set and the beauty of the stamp set. Okay, so we're going to put some... Ooh, and isn't this cute? Look at all the, like, mushrooms. It's kind of like Alice in Wonderland, I feel like. All the fun. I love the like the little polka dotty mushrooms there. This is kind of a fall. This is probably the fall theme paper, right? Like I said, that painted seasons um, pack of designer series paper. It's supposed to be kind of representation of all seasons. Okay. I have this is my pool party shimmer ribbon. And yeah, I love the masking too, Sandra. I'm gonna, um, so I got this in a little bit of ink. You, you guys can probably barely see it. So I cut it off because I didn't wanna use it on the bow, but I think I can, I'm gonna do a cheater bow, I call this. So we're gonna just put that strip. Um, yep, I did put it just around the white, okay. So we are, and I'm actually gonna kinda trim that off just a little bit. We don't need quite that long of a strip. So I'm gonna put one there, let's see. This is kind of funny to trim it before, but there, I think that's gonna work. Sometimes I like to flip it back over to make sure I'm going straight across. Okay, and we're gonna tack that one down there. Get those little guys out of the way, and now I'm gonna add some more adhesive. To move those scissors out of my way. I feel like I'm gonna stab myself. Okay, so then I'm gonna put this guy right in here and make sure that's on firmly. We are gonna add it to our card now. Put all of our adhesive back there. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys measurements too. Shoot, okay, I think we can do this though. You guys know, well, pool party card base, the eight and a half by 11 card stock, cut it in half at five and a half inches, um, score it in half along the eight and a half inch side at four and a quarter inches. That's not there. There we go, four and a quarter inches. Then my basic black piece measures three and a half, nope, sorry, scratch that, three and one quarter by four and a half. So then the whisper white is just graduated in a quarter of an inch. So the white measures three inches by four and a quarter inches, okay? So those are all the measurements. Oh, actually you do need that little guy there too. So let's see, that one is gonna be three, inch, three inches by one and a half, the DSP, one and a half by three is that piece of DSP right there. Okay, so I've already got my fold, crisp fold on my card. I'm gonna flip that, there we go. So just make sure it's kind of even around all sides. Press firmly on that. And then here's the cheater bow part. Let me get back to that. So I just put that strip, tacked it around the back, and then completely separately, I'm just gonna tie a little knot. And I keep this right on the bolt of ribbon so I can kind of manipulate it to get the right length. Because if you try to cut off a teeny tiny little piece of ribbon and tie it, you are gonna not have much fun at all. Okay, so there, we just tie that in a little knot right around there. And just don't pull too tight, because then that makes that knot. It makes it look not very pretty if you pull it really tight, I think. So then the last step are the, these are the gingham gala sequins. And I think these are considered grapefruit grove is the color. So we're gonna just, that one might not have a thing on the back there. So let's see. Okay, we are gonna put maybe one right there and oops. That's the guy, he's like floating around. He does not have a, a glue dot on the back of him. I don't know where he came from because he's not from this pack. And then one more, maybe right there. So we're just kind of sprinkling. I love that, sprinkling the little sequins around on our card. And that is it. Oh, and Philomena, I'm glad, yes, that the measurements are helpful. Not of the, <laughs> yeah, so you. I'm not either. I generally go like quarter of an inch, I'll tell you that. But I think on the next card, I did do something crazy with the eighth or the 16th. We're gonna find that out in a sec, but generally I do not do that either. So anyway, just a simple, and that's a great layout, right? So the, I don't know, I can't remember the dimensions now, right? But 
And this is a great layout for a card. Um, you can make lots, and especially with the designer series paper, because you get three sheets of this, if you needed to make a whole bunch of these cards, you could make a ton of them, because it's just the one and a half by three inches. You could get, oh, it'd be ridiculous how many cards you could make with three sheets of 12 by 12 designer series paper. So I'm glad you guys enjoyed that card. Thank you. And thanks to, like I said, to Brandy Barnard. She is the one that designed that card and shared it with us all at our leadership conference last weekend. Okay, so I'm going to scoot these ink pads out of the way. Got to take them back down to the studio for class. I am going to humor me one moment, ladies. We're going to use our chamois. And you guys have used this, right? The Simply Chamois. It's just a little bit wet. I am just going to kind of clean these guys off. Can you see how? So hopefully that's not rub or wiggling around too much, right? I'm glad you guys enjoyed that card. I did too. There was another version she did with, um, it was a Poppy Parade card base too. That was very pretty also. Same layout. She used a different, maybe it was one of the, the blue designer series paper with a red Poppy Parade. And then similar stamping was very pretty also. Okay, so there we go. We're all cleaned up from that one. Scooting these guys out of the way. And, okay, so you guys have to check out this next card. Did I keep that stamp? Okay. Yep, we're using one of the stamps again, and I had to make sure I had it handy. Okay, so, oh my goodness, you guys, check out this card. <laughs> Oh, Karen, yes, you got to hear from Brandy. Yes, she is super, super sweet. Like, just one of the nicest gals you will ever meet. If you guys have ever watched any of, like, the videos from Stampin' Up!, she she had done a lot of the training videos over the years. So, yeah, just, she's an awesome, awesome gal. But, okay, so here, check out this next card. So, this features more of the Painted Seasons Designer Series paper. It features that new The Country Floral Embossing Folder. And it does look so regal, doesn't it? I think it's that the colors in the paper, too, are so pretty. And I probably would not have put, because this is Lemon Lime Twist and Pool Party. It's probably not a color combination I would have come up with, but I think it is beautiful on this card. And then they actually use some of the Call Me Clover ink for our sentiment. You are pretty much the best ever. <laughs> so cute. And then this is the Painted Season stamp set, the other um, flower, and then there's that stamp that we're going to use again. This one I didn't mask. I didn't think you necessarily needed to. You could if you wanted to because again, there is a framelit right here. This framelit, that bigger one right there, is going to cut out that flower. Starting on March 1st, you can get those framelits. Unless you're a demonstrator, then you can get them now. Okay, so, oh, and I should tell you too, this one I cased also. This one was shared, I think, on the Demonstrator Planning Place. Um, a gal that actually I know very well, her name is Kim Vogel. She designed this card, I think after we were all together this past weekend, she went right home and started playing. And yes, it does make a beautiful wedding card, doesn't it? Yeah, you want to change the sentiment, but yes, it would be a gorgeous wedding card. Philomena, you are right. Okay, so let's get started on this one. In this, we use that all adorned stamp set. Now you guys can see the sentiments a little bit better. The you are pretty much the best ever, the miss you and love you, and then all of these other beautiful images on there too. Okay, let's see. Let me make sure I have all my parts and pieces. I see some kind of a sticky. Oh, because it was funny measurements. Let's do, we're gonna do our embossing before I get anything else out. Oh, okay. Actually, back it up. We're going to do dimensions first, then we're going to do our embossing, then we're going to do our stamping. Okay, so we have Lemon Lime Twist cardstock. Again, a tall card cut in half along the 11 inch side at five and a half inches, and then scored along the eight and a half inch side at four and a quarter inches. Okay, that's easy, right? Then we have a piece of pool party cardstock. This one's easy, Philomena. This is the four by five and a quarter. And then this got kind of funky because when you emboss, sometimes it shrinks it up. And so typically I probably would have done, like if this is four by five and a quarter, I would have done three and three quarters by five, but that shrunk it up too much and I didn't like that. So I ended up with the Whisper White cardstock that measures. So this is, 
this is I jokingly say three and three quarters plus a little titch more, which comes out to be three and one, two, three, four. Yeah, three and seven eighths is what it is this way. And then by five and one eighth, because it's a little bit more than five, right? So three and seven eighths by five and one eighth are this um, whisper white piece that we're gonna emboss. And then let's see these guys. We've got another piece of pool party cardstock that measures two and three quarters by four. And then the whisper white that measures two and a half by three and three quarters. Okay, one more dimension that you guys need, this beautiful designer series paper that measures two inches by four and three quarters. So, oh Tammy, I'm glad you like the cards. They were beautiful, that's why I knew we had to show them. So here's the back side of that designer series paper. So just kind of a fun like sunburst print and then, oh, that beautiful, beautiful pattern there. Okay, so let's do our embossing with this Whisper White piece and then here is my embossing folder again. Grab the big shot. Okay. Oops, I don't, do I even need dimensionals this time? I brought them, but I don't know if I even need them. Okay, so we have our big shot platform, our Whisper White cardstock. Because it's one of our thick embossing folders, you only need one clear cutting pad on top. So I'm just gonna pop this right in here, okay? Doesn't even look like anything right now, but wait until you see what happens. And I like to kind of go back and forth, so bear with me just a sec while we get this nicely embossed. Sorry if that's wiggling a little bit, guys. Okay, I'm moving this right out of the way. And, okay, seriously, this is like a huge whoa moment. Oh, wait, it's backwards. Here, let's do this way. <laughs> that's a little anticlimactic when you see the debossed. Because I love, like, look at all of that detail. And there's something about that rose that just, like, jumps right off the page. Everybody at class on Wednesday was like, but I don't want to cover this up. And we did. So you'll have to find another way to use this embossing folder and not cover up that flower. But isn't that, like, look at all the depth. Like, there's so much, the height on that, too. I think, like, the kind of the levels of embossing that happen on that are very, very cool. Okay. Let's see, let me get my stamps and my ink out. I think we are ready. Let's see, let's do our stamping now. I want to, guys. So, I don't think, you know what, I am gonna use this little mat here too. These are not gonna go off, so we're gonna put that one right there. So I have my pool party ink and another Ooh, I forgot to give you guys the host code. All right, I'll do that. It's always on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com too. So if you ever can't find it or can't remember. So just a beautiful, really soft image there. And then we're gonna use some of our Lemon Lime Twist ink. And just put a couple little leaves. We're just gonna put one there and maybe one right there. And then with our, and I love this, the color combination. I would have not put like Call Me Clover with Pool Party. That just seems really strange to me, but it looks so good together. And it is really, there's a teeny tiny bit of um, Call Me Clover, like a bright green in there too. And let's see what's Karen saying. You were wondering about the cactus. Now you know. <laughs> yes. What is she saying? Beautiful card and a wedding. Ah, oh, it's like, yes, it is a great idea for a wedding card. Yes. So here we go. You are pretty much the best ever with my Call Me Clover ink. Hopefully I made that straight. There, good. All right, I did it. <laughs> yeah, so Sharon's saying they need to sell a mat just for stamping. So yeah, they do care, or Sharon, you get one to poke stuff in and then you get another one separately that you can stamp on. But maybe you want, I don't know, you want something that maybe you can wipe off, but then it might not be foamy enough, like spongy enough. So yeah, you basically just need two of these and then don't care if you stamp on one of them, right? How about that? <laughs> so they do, is what I'm saying, right? They do sell it. Okay, so let's go ahead and put things together here. Let's see, get all my, oops. Let me put that there so I can see what I'm doing. I think we've got it all right now. I think we just need to put everything together. So just lots of adhesive now. Okay, so we can put this guy on our pool party piece. 
Okay, so we've got this one right here. I hear Lily roaming around upstairs. She's gonna come help me with card class today. Actually, we're gonna put some dimensionals on the back of this guy. So we're gonna put a few of these. Oops, there, oops, we've got two. That's all right, it'll pop up even more. Okay, now we are going to add, and I like to put a bunch of adhesive because it's got the embossing on it. You really need to run it about all the way around the edge of your card so that it stays down on there. Okay, so let's see. There's that, and I like to really kind of smooth it out. I don't like the rumples. There's something about that that bothers me. So, and again, because now we have two pieces of cardstock, we want to make sure they stay on our card. So I use quite a bit of adhesive there too. And then we add this guy right there. Looks good. I'm going to press firmly. Okay, now we need again a whole bunch of adhesive because we're putting this piece of designer series paper on our embossed piece. And that just, I love the layering of this. Everything's just kind of peeking out one layer behind the next. So again, pressing really firmly there. And, oh, you know what? I'm going to forget to put, I need to do that. I'm going to do another, let's do another little cheater bow, right? Okay, so this is some of my polka dot tool ribbon. So I'm just going to flip that around there. I'm going to add some adhesive and this is such nice dainty ribbon it works great it just kind of adds a little element of prettiness I guess to the card without covering any of the flower or the sentiment up so I'm peeling all those guys off this thing I'm gonna put maybe right about there and then again the cheater bow let's see oh gee where is there it is I was like where's the end of this Okay, so I just put that strip on and now again, I'm keeping the ribbon right on my bolt and I'm just gonna tie a little knot right around that strip. Okay, here we go. This ribbon is a little bit funny to work with because it kind of sticks to itself. There, got that. We're just gonna trim that guy off there. And then the last step is just one of our little um, Rhinestones, we're just gonna put him right in the middle of our flower. And that is it. Oh, let's see, what are, what are my comments here? Oh, oh yeah, Sharon, you need to get two mats. That's how that works, right? One for piercing and one for stamping on. Oh, you are making, car oh, now you're gonna change to this card. <laughs> That's cute, I know, it's gorgeous. I love all the layers and it features, I mean, you could say, hey, we have new celebration items, right? We have the new All Adorn stamp set right there represented. We have the new Painted Season stamp set with that stamp and that one represented right there, right? We have the new Painted Seasons Designer Series paper and we have the new Country Floral Embossing Folder. So we literally used all of our new celebration items that you can get right now with either your 50 or $100 order on this card. So that's why I loved it too, because it was a great way to show you guys everything all at once. So because I forgot, should have pulled this out much earlier, right? Here is the host code if you would like to order any of the products that we used to make this card or our other card, where's the other one? Right here, right? If you put an online order in of at least $30, you always get these projects that we use, or these projects that I made, right? And then you also get your chance to win, where is it? The part of my story stamp set. Your name will go in a drawing. And like I said, there haven't been a lot of online orders lately, so your odds are really good of winning this stamp set as well. Just make sure you put that $30 order in by next Wednesday. You're gonna get the projects that I demonstrate. Make sure you use the host code ZZJYG9NU. It's also always at gatheringinspiration.com if you forget that host code. And if you bump your order up to $50, you always get a free embellishment for me. And right now it's celebration too, right? So you also get that free celebration item. So thank you guys so much. I talked a lot again today. I always think, oh, I don't have that much to tell you guys about. 
And I just can't stop talking, I guess. So thank you for bearing with me, staying with me today. I'm gonna wrap things up because I gotta get down to the studio for card class. We're gonna be making these two cards and some more fun cards today at class. So have a great weekend, guys. It was so good to have everybody here with me live. If you're watching later, thank you. I love when people can watch whenever they can and make sure you say hi at any time. Guys, have a great weekend and we'll see you next Friday. Bye-bye.